So another Andy B two minute video. Do you know what beta mode is? If you're of a certain age, you might think of VHS and beta. Beta Max, it was a type of video cassette, like a ribbon thing you shove in a machine and it plays a film. Okay, not DVD. That's one thing that beta might be something you're aware of, but when it comes to software, beta is quite important. Um, if you've ever been, um, I don't know, Google Play Store, for example, you might have an app you've downloaded and you might be invited to get the beta version of that app. What is it talking about? Recently, we've been looking at some software for something we want to do, and I've tried a few different bits of software. Some of them so far have been either brilliant and not up to what we need or utterly awful. I've just been trying one recently that is absolutely brilliant and keeps failing, which is very, very frustrating because I spent a week trying to work this thing out. Turns out, and I haven't quite clocked this in the little corner, it says beta mode. What does that mean and how does that apply to our Christian life? It's really simple. Beta mode means it's in development. It's a test. It's not the thing that is stable. It's the next generation of something, basically, and it could have problems. It could have all sorts of amazing things going there. And some people love to work in beta mode, test out things. I'm now sort of a bit of a beta test, uh, beta mode tester for this company, not on purpose or deliberately, because I'm trying to use what I think could be good software, but they inform me it's in beta mode, which means they're still testing it, which means it has some amazing potential, but it also has many, many bugs. And one of the bugs I've discovered is rather critical and they've gone, ooh, that's serious. That basically means the software doesn't work. That's the potent point of beta mode. I didn't know we were actually having beta mode to trial. Now, are you in your beta mode with your Christian life? Are you so advanced to where you need to be? You're doing all these crazy things, but whilst that can be good, actually the problem of going into beta mode as a Christian is you miss the core, the stuff that's stable. Quite often churches like to get rid of the old people and the young people, and they want the people in the middle who've got the money. That's quite common. Or we just want to go for the families, forget the old people. You know, we forget the old people at our peril because what the older people in churches do, well, generally they've been there for a longer time. That's what we think of. They're wiser. They actually provide immense stability for a church family, for the foundations. Care for the folks in your church who've been there longer than you, not necessarily older, we think about them in those terms. But even beta mode, are you so busy trying to do all the next thing you've forgotten what you need to actually do the job before you? Don't be so desperate to try new things that you forget and you miss out on what's already existing that's good. Just a thought.